Hello everyone, this is practice test of so, section 3. Okay, here we go. Take a look at the question. When G is 2, Y is G plus 1, Y is 3. When Y is 3, X minus 6 equals 10 and X equals Plus six both sides, sixteen. That's that's okay. That is easiest two questions. The number two, the system have only one solution. That means what? The slope are different. Okay, slope is equal to parallel. Okay, so maybe you can use this one. You can express the slope and intercept form. Y equals negative 2 over 6 is negative 1 over 3x and plus 5 over 6. Second one is negative a over bx and plus 7 over b. Different y-intercept, same slope, that's a parallel. But different slope is they have one intersection. So negative 1 over 3 must be not equal to this one, okay? not equal. So plus plus, okay. So you can check it out. If a is one, b is three, that is one third. If a is two, b is six, it is still one third. This is what a is three, b is eight, three over eight different, right? So that's the answer, okay. Or you can use the formula over here. Two over a is not equal six over b means they have a different slope. When you cross out. 2b equals 6a, b equals what? 3 times a. So if the number b is what? 3 times a, they are parallel. Not parallel, they have one intersection, okay? So this is 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, this is 8, okay? So this one has different slopes. The number 3. The cost of producing p points, this is a cost. Decide this way. Okay, when you produce by P points, it will cost this much. But the company receives four hundred dollars on sale each point. The total income is how much? Four hundred times P, right? P points. So they're asking you the revenue must be equal to cost. But in this case, there's no profit, just the even. Okay? Anyway, we're gonna find, okay, to have an even income, okay, what is the number of production? That's fine, okay? All right, that's good information, right? They're gonna sell more than this number to make profit, okay? Anyway, they are equals 400p, 100p, minus 150p, both sides. 250p, that is equals 265,000. Okay, so we should equal this one 265, 250 over here. This is one. The next one is what? 150. Okay, so 6 over here. Okay, 1060 is the answer. Number four, find the equivalent to this. You can expand this one square. A square plus one over A square. This is the first. Second one is this times, this times, this one. Two times A times one over A, the positive two and minus two. This is canceled out. This is equivalent. So choice A is the answer. All right, number five. A is positive numbers. That's the solution, okay? You can put this number value of a up there. a squared is 100 minus 10 plus 4. It is equal to? No, right? 94. Square root 94 not equals to. 8 is okay. Check it right. 64 minus 8 plus 4. This is 8. 56, 52 not equals to 2, right? They are not equals to. 4 is what is that? 16 minus 
4 and plus 1. This is a 4, right? Not equal to. If 1 there, 1 squared is 1, 1 plus 4, that is exactly equal to 2, right? Choice D is the answer. Or you can solve this one directly. Make a square root. A squared minus A plus 4 equals 4 here. 4 is cancelled out. You got this one. A, A minus 1 equals 0. The solution for this is 0 or negative 1. So which one is correct? If this is 0, it's OK. That's right. Put this number 0, true. A is 1, true. Okay. Anyway, we have only one there, OK? You don't have to check it. Just choice D is that. You can solve it this way, too. Right, number six. These two lines are perpendicular. What's the slope of this one? Four over six. Negative four over six. Negative slope, right? Negative two over three, okay? The other one should be positive three over two, right? Negative reciprocal. This is another slope. Okay, where is it? another point here? They pass through the origin, right? So, 0 minus k over 0 minus minus 3 equals to 3 over 2. Okay? This is 3. So, you can cross multiplication. Negative 2k equals 9. And k equals what? Negative 4.5. Okay? Choice D is the answer. Still easy, right? Okay. All right, number 7. What is the average of A, B, C in terms of A? The average of these three numbers is A plus B plus C over 3. There are three numbers. That is the average. But we're going to express this one in terms of A. B is over here. From here, you can find in terms of A. B goes what? 2A, isn't it? C goes 4B from the equation. All right, put this number inside. So a plus b is what to a, c is a four over a over three. Okay, total is seven a over three is the average. Right here you go number eight. We have a regular hexagon. If the length of a side is a four, this one. What is the area of this hexagon? Hexagon actually consists of right six equilateral triangles. So just 60 degrees, 360 divided by 6. It's was 6 degrees, so they are isosceles. These two angles are 62, which is the equilateral triangle. You know the equilateral triangle, the formula, okay? This is SSS. Remember, okay? This is a formula. The area of this equilateral triangle is S squared times red 3 over 4. Better memorize this one, okay? All right. S is a 4 now. 4 squared is 16 square root 3 over 4. That is area of this one equilateral triangle. 4, red 3, okay? But we have a 6 over this. Times 6, 24 square root 3 is the answer. All right, number 9 up here. To decide the value of b on this equation, 2x plus b. So we need a point, right? Anyway, to find the B, we need what? A point. Okay, if you got one point, put this number in the equation, you can get the value of B. Where is the point? This point, this is what have a variable. A little hard to find this, okay? But over here, this was the x-intercept over here, okay? So x squared minus 4 equals 0. Can you see that? x plus 2 x minus 2 equals 0, right? So 1 is what? 2, the other one is negative 2. So this side is 2, the other side is negative 2. That's the point. So when x equals negative 2, y equals 0. Put this number in there, okay? y equals 0. When x equals negative 2, 2 times negative 2 is a negative 4 plus b. So b equals what? Positive 4. Okay, that's the answer. All right, move on number 10 here. Just simplify this one. Common denominator is x minus 1 times x plus 1, which is what x squared minus 1, right? Difference two squares. But numerator is x plus 1 minus x minus 1. But this is x is cancelled out. 1 plus 
negative negative plus there is a positive too but you still have one over two in there so this is cancel out you got only one over x minus one x plus one which one is equivalent choice b is equivalent right all right number 11 surface area as of cylinders this is a formula right two pi r square top and bottom circles this is the lateral area right two pi r h we know that formula over here okay the surface area is in the 20 pi this is given so 2 pi times r square and 2 pi r and h is given 3 3 i'm between 2 times 3 is 6 okay from here we can simplify first they all have a pi or divided by 2 right or even numbers so divided by 2 pi okay that is 10 equals r square plus 3r right so r square plus 3r minus 10 equals 0 this is a quadratic factor okay x y r plus 5 r minus 2 equals 0 so this is a negative r equals 2 is that so, okay that's right okay number 12 we have a literal equation right? so we're going to express m1 in terms of other variables m1 times r equals m1 plus m2 we have two m1 over here okay we're gonna combine this one so one m1 move to the other side better move this one the other side over here okay m1 m1 r minus m1 m1 r minus 1 that is equals to m2 that's right so what is m1 m2 over r minus 1 is the answer okay choice c is the answer Okay, number 13, F2 equals 0 in quadratic. Which of the following must be true? F2, for which value of x also can be 0 over here? Maybe you can substitute to decide the value of a, okay? F of 2 equals 0. Put this number 2 in there. 4 plus a times 2 is what? 2a and minus 2. That is equal to 0, okay? You can divide by okay it doesn't matter 0 equals how much 2a minus 6 2a equals 6 a equals 3 this is 3 okay now we got this one f of x equals x squared plus 3x minus 10 you can put this number in there okay first one when x is negative 5 it can be 0 put this number there negative 5 squared 25 negative 15 the next negative term, yeah, is actually equal to zero, okay? We already got the answer over here. You don't have to check the other one. Okay? Right. Okay. Uh, okay, I think this is the easiest way, okay? Try. Right.